charismatic, individually unique and playful. Beyond Amazing, Seals are Sentinels that bring stories about the state of our seas to us on land. They're already feeling firsthand the impacts of climate change. Seals are crucial to healthy seas and of course therefore to us. As top predators, they help to manage and keep ecosystems in balance. We're so lucky. The UK have over 30% of the world's population of grey seals and around a third of the European population of harbour seals. The wild Atlantic Ocean is their home. Climate change is already happening and we need to take action now. We need to preserve a healthy, livable planet for future generations to enjoy. Seals are already experiencing firsthand the impacts of climate change and in some shocking ways. Extreme weather has washed pups off beaches and after Storm Arwen, 846 pups were washed off in a single night off a beach, all separated from their mothers and therefore doomed. Storm Ophelia and Brian in 2017 in the southwest washed pups away from their mothers and had an impact the following year when we had a third less pups born as a result of the complications from pups being separated from their mothers. Extreme weather events such as hammering rain and hailstorms are adding to already high levels of human disturbance of seals. For example, in a single hailstorm over seven minutes, 272 seals stampeded into the sea. That's the biggest disturbance incident we have on record. Seals are already disturbed by us 68% of the time when we're present. So this is really serious. Extreme weather is also affecting ground swells and ground swells rip up fishing gear that's been left out and that increases entanglement rates. We already have the second highest rate of entanglement anywhere in the world for a fossil seal species. Flooding is also having an impact, washing sediments off the land into the sea. Sediments make the water murky, which means that seals can't see prey nor can they feel it. And this is most felt by young seals that have just left their mothers and are now having to teach themselves to feed. It adds to their challenges. Warming seas are also affecting the seasonality of seals. We used to have peak season in April and March. Now it's December or January. That's a massive shift in a very short period of time. We're also seeing peak pupping season move earlier in the year and the popping season has also moved shorter. A further impact of climate change is acidifying the oceans. This is changing prey species, but it's also resulting in toxic algal blooms that produce domoic acid. And unfortunately, this ruins seal neurology and their nerve systems. More seals are basically getting into trouble than ever before, particularly young seals. So they need us to manage ourselves. They need people management, but they also need rescue, rehab and release. This is all going to increase over the next eight to 10 years. So we all have a role to play. What can we do? So now you know that time is running out, but it's not too late. That's the good news. But we all need to change and reduce our carbon footprints and there are lots of ways we can do this. Firstly, and most importantly, energy. We need to insulate our homes, wear more clothes, turn the heating thermostat down, use LED lights, have efficient applications, washing machines, dishwashers, and ideally use a cool wash every time you use the washing. Renewable energy sources are key. Travel is another way we can make things different. We can walk more, use bikes, public transport and carpool wherever we can. Electric vehicles are going to be important, but basically we all need to fly less as well. With food, it's important to eat more plants, less meat and less fish and less dairy. We need to make sure that we have fewer items wasted of food and any food waste needs to be composted. We need to reduce, reuse, redesign, repurpose for all sorts of things rather than renewing them. And it's very important if you have money to invest that you invest in ethical companies who have a good track record for looking after the planet. 
So now you know that action is vital. You need to use less, localise your life, make your money count and spread the word and tell everyone who'll listen. I know it's hard to connect the dots, but reducing your carbon footprint will definitely help our UK speciality seals. But let's not miss the point here. It's not about helping seals or the sea. This is about helping ourselves. Ensure your young loved ones actually have a chance of a good life on a livable planet. Start now, take action, make a difference, one step at a time.